Now, I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. I wake up every morning with hope. I wake up every morning knowing that it's going to be a beautiful day. But ladies and gentlemen, it hasn't always been like that before. As you awaken, you get out of the matrix. You awaken and you get out of the illusion. In my videos, I've always talked about awakenings. I've always talked about the matrix. My very first videos, I used to talk about the matrix. Now, the matrix is a very big illusion. The illusion of the world as you knew it. The illusion of the world that you knew was true, that looked like true in front of you. In this video, I'm going to exactly tell you and mention to you why life will never be the same when you wake up. Now, again, it doesn't matter which way you wake up, whether you're woken up from a narcissist, a narcissistic relationship, whether you have woken up from a job place, whether you have woken up in whichever way you've woken up, I'm going to explain to you why life will never be the same. Because awakening is the very first step to discover a much more improved and better version of yourself. So in this video, I'm exactly going to explain to you how on your journey you're going to meet your soul family. and how things are also going to change as regards your real family. Let's do this. So good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos, and I welcome you to the page of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the page of breaking empaths free. It's a very beautiful day, as guys, as you can see. Very sunny, beautiful weekend. And I'm in a very good mood today. This is a motivational video for the people who are awakening. And um, as you awaken, you're going to discover a, a completely different world from the world you used to know. So what am I trying to say here? Everything is going to alter. Everything in and around you is going to alter. So. You are going to lose weight, number one. You're going to lose the dead weight. By dead weight, I mean that you're going to lose everything, each and everything, whether it's people or things or places, things that actually are not serving you anymore. You're going to lose a lot of things. And sometimes people, painful as it may sound, it may be also part of your family. You may have to lose your family on the way. Now, by losing your family, I'm not saying that you're going to wake up uh, just uh, in one instant and walk out of your family. No, it's not like that. What I'm trying to say here is that you are going to develop a different kind of attitude and relationship with the family. And I'm talking about the real family, the family that has always identified with you from birth, including your parents, your siblings, your brothers and sisters, cousins and relatives. Awakening is a journey, people. It's an it's, 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 awakening is an individual journey. This is not a journey you take as a collective. This is, this is an, indiv an individual journey which you take alone. You, it's you and yourself. And there's so many people, the people you used to know, they are not going to resonate with you. They are not going to understand what you're doing. There's so many people who are not going to understand. They are not, they are, they are not going to accept. First of all, they're not going to, they may even try to understand, but they will not accept the person you're becoming. Because people, becoming the best version of yourself requires to make some very big moves and very big decisions. And it is not everybody who can make these decisions. Awakening will align you with your divine and soul purpose. Soul purpose is something you're supposed to, it is only you. That is your unique identification. It is only you who is supposed to take out, to carry out whatever, whatever it is you came here to do. It is only you who is supposed to take out, who is meant to do and to participate in this purpose as, a, as an individual. There is nobody actually who would understand what you're doing. And most of the cases, it requires you to, to be brave. It requires you to be brave because you are going to step out of your comfort zone. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping out of your comfort zone is a very big thing because you are overcoming the ego. 
the ego has usually been the, the ego has usually been the part of the problem for the, from the beginning but when you are awakening people for the first time in your life you are overcoming the ego so when you overcome the ego you are able to align with your divine purpose you cannot align with your divine purpose when you're still within your ego but as well when you continue stepping into your divine purpose and aligning with your journey you are going to meet something what they call the soul family which is also i usually call it the soul or even the divine family now by divine family i mean the people who can speak your language the people who can resonate with you and the people who are going to push you and help you move to the next level ladies and gentlemen all the famous people we know about the people you admire the people you adore the people your celebrities your famous celebrities your favorite celebrities there's many of them if you if you listen very closely to their stories they have taken a decision at some point in their life they most of them got an awakening at some point and they made a very big decision to take and they stepped out of their comfort zone so whatever it is they want to do maybe some of them went into acting maybe some of them you've heard about the story of jim curry how he used to be a broke guy before and then at, at some point in time he went into acting he followed his path and he became successful you've also heard, you've also heard about stories of famous people like tupac you've heard about stories of famous people like Tyler Perry, you've heard about stories of, of Oprah Winfrey, you've heard about stories like Dwayne Johnson, you've heard about the stories of all the famous people around the world who have taken a very big decision and a very major decision in their lives to do something about themselves and to become the best version of themselves. But you also heard about the stories, most of them have talked about something what included families, There's a, there has been family in those stories. And the very first thing they had to let go, most of the cases, painful as it was, they had to let go of their families because their parents maybe their mother or their mother their fathers they did not believe in their dream they did not believe they did not believe in them they were even sometimes trying to drag them off their path because they did not accept the people they were becoming that is because they were going through awakenings and they were trying to change to change themselves and become the best version of themselves and at the end of the day most of them you've seen them they have become very popular and very successful at, uh, in a way so family when you're talking about family we have two types of family we have the real family the family that you're born into the family that identifies with your blood the family that relates to your blood then we have also the divine or even the soul family those are the family the soul family people let me tell you something the soul or even divine family that is the family that they can see where you're going. That is the family that is going to support you. Whatever it is you are going to do, whether you're a musician, they are the, they are the people who are going to buy your music. They're the people who are going to support your music. Whether you are an actor, they are the people who are going to watch your movies. In most of the cases you can see, most of these successful people, you can find that whatever it is they're doing, maybe they're even selling books, you can find that their real family, they're not even buying their books. The people who have managed to get successful, you can find most of them people you can be surprised you can even be shocked that most of them even if they, ne they never tell you about that you can find that most of them whether they are movie stars whether they are people who have written uh, very popular books whether they are people who are actors or musicians you can find that their families they are not supporting them their families are not standing with them because when you're becoming the best version of, of yourselves people it makes some people very uncomfortable it requires you to step out of, out of your comfort zone. So most of the cases you're going to find the journey very, very uncomfortable. I remember myself when I was starting my videos. In this same spot, I did a video some time ago. It was very, very uncomfortable, people, because divine purpose is a spiritual journey. You are taking a spiritual journey. That journey is a journey that has made has been made for you. It is not a journey that is going to be uh, is not good. Is good. Is not. Is, it's not a journey that is going to be a part of other different other people. It is a journey that has been crafted speci specifically for you. So it is going to be very very uncomfortable, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very big move. On that journey, don't be surprised, people. Your family will not support you. And it's not personal. So if you realize that actually your brothers or even sometimes your sisters, your parents are going against you, it is not personal people. You are supposed to embrace this journey. This is a journey that has been crafted for you, specifically for you, not your brothers, not your sisters, not your father, not your mother. That is why I've told you many people of 
your family circle, they will not understand what you're doing and they will not resonate with you. They will fight with you. They will try to make you think you're crazy. They will try to make you think you're stupid. They will try to make you think you don't know what you're doing because they, don't, and they completely don't understand the person you're becoming. They know and they can resonate with the person you was before, but they cannot understand and even accept the person you're becoming in the process because you're becoming a completely different version of yourself. So you're going to find people who don't resonate with you, especially your real family, the people who are born with you, the people who you have grown up with, in your family circle. But what I'm trying to say, people, in this video, do not take it personal. It is not personal because when you start growth, when you start spiritual growth, when you st step into authenticity and start a journey of spiritual growth, not only are you growing and developing as an individual, but you are also shining a light on other individuals, especially in your family circle, and you're actually telling them, it is like you 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 making them double guess themselves and start to look themselves in the mirror and check i mean like flash very deep into their soul and understand where they need to go and most of them they don't take that journey because like i've said it's a very uncomfortable journey so for the ones who are waking up i congratulate you all and i'm just here to make you understand that your soul family is here with you we are here there's the families that are going to support you. You have seen me on my page. I've always tried to even sometimes to, to promote other channels, other channels who are in relation to what I'm doing. So I've even sometimes on my page promoted other channels. That is because that is my divine family. There is a family that is going to resonate with you. If you're a person who writes a book, you're going to meet people, other people writing books. If you're a person who is acting, you're going to find yourself in places where there's other, uh, other actors. If you're a person who is a musician, the universe is going to align, align you with other people who are actually musicians, people who are actually walking in your path and even who have the same aspirations like you do. That is called the divine family. That is the actually the family that is supposed to be the family to push you to the next level. It is the family that is going to participate fully in your growth and your personal development. So soul family and real family, they are two different things. I'm not saying you're going to completely abandon your family, the real family that you've grown up with. Yes, uh, no, that's not the way. But what I'm saying here is that you're going to have a different kind of relationship with them. You can love them from a distance because like on my page, you've heard me talking about narcissism. So most of the cases, it is even very likely that most of the, most of even sometimes your family members, even sometimes your parents or whatever, your uncles, relatives, some of them even are narcissists. That is why they do not believe in your journey. It is by nature they're not going to believe in what you're doing. It is by nature they're not going to believe in your journey. So you may even sometimes find people trying to put you down and bring out the worst in you. Even, even that, you're working very hard to grow. You'll find people letting you down and, bringing, and, and putting you down to, the, to, to, their, to their level and to their vibration. So it is not personal people. You need to understand what is a divine family and you need to understand what is a, what is a real family. They are two different things. The divine family, those are the people who are going to pick up on you. They will find you, the universe will align you in a way that those people are going to find you on your journey. Those people are going to support you, whatever it is you are doing. They are going to, whether it is financial, whether it is advice, whether it is whatever it is, they are going to support you in one way or the other. Whether you are writing a book, they are going to buy your book. If you're, if you're making a movie, they are going to buy your movie. They will be the first people, if you're releasing that movie, they will be the first people to take the front seat in the cinema. When you're launching that movie or whatever. But let me tell you people, for, for, to your biggest surprise, you are not going to find your, your, your family on the front seat. When you're developing people, let me make something very clear. When you're developing to become the best version of yourself, you are not going to find your family on the front seat. Your real family, I'm talking about your real family, you're not going to find anybody on the front seat. They're going to take the back seat. Do you know why? Because they don't believe in your dream. They do not believe in your dream and this is not personal this is just because they are they are not comfortable with the person you're becoming in the process they are very much used they are very much and have always been used to the person you was before but they are very uncomfortable with the person you're becoming in this process because you're becoming the best version of yourself and most of the cases you find that most of them they do they cannot accept and they cannot digest this because you're becoming a changed person so they cannot they cannot digest this this is a spiritual thing they cannot, they cannot understand that you're growing. They cannot understand that you're moving to, moving to the next level. So they are trying to make you think you're crazy. They are trying to make you think that you don't know what you're doing because they completely don't understand what it is you're becoming. 
the people who are going to support you on your journey, people, those are the people who are your soul family. That is your family. They are going to sponsor you. They are going to buy your plane tickets. They are going to buy your books. When you are launching your movie, they are going to sit on the front seat. They are going to even support you financially. Those are the people who are helping you to grow. That is what they call the soul family. All the people you know, successful people in this, in this universe, many of them, they have mentioned stories where they had to let their families go. Because why? Their families really never believed in their mission. They never believed in their story. They never believed in their purpose. They never saw where they were going. So they had to let them go. People, that's what I wanted to say in this video. For you to make you understand, for the people who are awakening, for the people who are awakening and uh, you're trying to become the best you can be. You're trying to step into your life purpose. You're trying to step into your divine purpose. I just want to make you to make you understand that this is not personal. There's people who have got to go. You can love people from a distance because when you understand that somebody is not of your highest good, when somebody doesn't wish you well, when somebody thinks very bad about you, you can always love them from a distance. But you have got to keep on growing because this is a universal, this is a divine journey. This is a journey that is not for everybody. It is a journey that is designed and specially made for you. So a lot of people will not understand this. And that is not personal. Other than that, people, much love and blessings. If there's something I forgot, let me know in the section below, in the comment section below. I'll get back in touch with you. Love you. There's almost signing out.